Hi folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. In another report, I told a story about what had happened this week fishing with my buddy Rust. Well, I'm going to tell you another story that my buddy Dave, who lives in a whole nother area, he lives on Cayuga Lake now. And he had gone out a couple days ago to fish for lake trout. And he had taken a friend that didn't ever get a chance to do this. And Dave has a pontoon boat and they go out and he's got pretty good at locating them because he's doing this a lot. And so here they were fishing for lake trout and they were looking in a certain direction. And they heard a fish jump near their boat and he turned and he said, I missed where it jumped. And lo and behold, the fish came up and jumped again. And so Dave said, I grabbed another rod that wasn't in the water and I cast out to where that fish had jumped with a jig. And he says, as the jig started to go down in the water, he said, all of a sudden the line stopped. And he said, I immediately, he said, I set the hook and wow, a 22 inch. And I say this because he caught it and and measured it. A 22 inch rainbow trout came just flying out of the water. And he said, it did this three or four times. And in the end, they caught the fish, they measured it, and away it went to its its better grounds. But the, but here's what's really interesting. And to me, this is one of the most enjoyable things that ever happened to me. Now, no, I wasn't with him. But it made me think back to when I used to go to La Reserve Beauchene for years in search of smallmouth bass. And this is an area in Quebec near North Bay. And it was it's a beautiful lake. And back when I was going there... Not only were there all these wonderful smallmouth bass, but there was a great population of lake trout. Now, I'm not talking about rainbow now. I'm talking about lake trout. But when we go out fishing, as fun as smallmouth can be, all of a sudden, and it happened every day, you'd see fish jumping on the surface. And those fish weren't bass. Those were believe it or not, lake trout. Now, they they probably weren't jumping for flies. They were probably chasing bait up to the surface. But we're talking in really deep water areas. And so what we would do if we saw that jump is I'd take my black and blue bucktail, we'd chase it, almost like it became fun chasing lake trout. You'd see the swirl, you'd hurry, and if you could get there within 10 or 15 seconds, cast out where it was, Bam, those lake trout would hit so hard. And it was some of the most fun fishing I ever had. And then as the years went by, we stopped having that happen. We no longer saw lake trout jumping. Now, it's a big lake. It's not heavily fished. So there's still a great population of lake trout. But their whole cycle, their whole experience, I guess, changed. And they no longer were doing this. Maybe the the bait changed in their habits. But I always remember that as being some of the most favorite fishing I've ever done. You see the jump, you cast to the jump, and bam, you're into it. And this is what happened that day with Dave fishing for lake trout. Happened to see a jump, and there was this beautiful silvery rainbow trout that probably gave him a lot more action than they had in all their lake trout fishing. It's something to think about. And if you're ever out in any lake and you see a fish jumping like that, it it usually they're very aggressive and active at that moment. They may not be trout, it might be bass, it might be something else, but cast to that spot. And if you can do it quick enough, you very well might catch a fish. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.